What if Forrest Fenn inadvertently told someone? What if someone found the location by going through his desk drawer? I don't know, folks, but that's just another theory that has been uh, put out to people discussing it with me, and I'm not going to just ignore it. We don't... Stop it. Come on, Tober, cut it out. You're ruining the illusion of the backdrop. <laughs> God, will you see? Did you hear that big lump of potatoes just slid down? All right. Just something to think about, folks. What if the treasure hunt, the chase, was compromised and somehow the location got out? People were sworn to secrecy. It accidentally got out. Maybe it got out without Fenn even knowing it. I don't know how that, don't even ask me how that would happen. I don't know how that would happen. But what if that happened? And see, it, this is all leading back to the strange ending of this thing, right? To this kind of feeling you get that the, the finder isn't, Fenn's not that thrilled with the way the chase has ended. What if the finder did find it? But Forrest Fenn realizes in talking to them, or maybe they just flat tell him, I was told where the, where the chest was. And yes, I got there by the poem because someone told me the location, and the location is at the end of the poem that I read. I see how it works. I know when Fenn said that, if I could get this from under you, Tober, big fat can. The poem in my book led him to the precise spot. Okay, the poem in the book led him to the precise... If someone told the finder where to go to find it because they had found out somehow the location... Um, are they finding it by the poem? I mean, I don't know. I know Fenn's trying to say he found it because he had to follow the poem to get there, but if someone gave you the information, or if somehow you found out the information, again, I go back to this theory. I think I think Fenn would only tell people that really had that were kind of in his his monetary niche. You know what I'm saying? I think Fenn would only feel comfortable telling people that had a lot of money about it, because to them it would be a much smaller deal. It wouldn't be worth sacrificing their reputation if it was found out, all those kind of things. He wouldn't have been telling the average searcher, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that average searcher would not have kept it a secret. But if you have a lot of money, it's a lot easier to keep a secret. If you're a friend of his, if you have a big reputation, it's a lot easier to keep things a secret. So I don't know, it's just a theory. It's a theory some people have put out that the uh, that the chase was compromised somehow, and and the finder was in fact someone who had been told where the chest was located, and Fenn had to accept that, but wasn't and isn't happy with the way it ended like that, and I could certainly see that being the case. Now the last one that I have here is. Um, Hey, Bill, how's it going? How are you? Did you open the front door? Just a second, folks. I know this gets very tiring. My cats talk so much. I mean, they just wah, wah, wah. I wish I could interpret. Sometimes I get a kind of inflections and tones. I kind of get questions like why or what. But in general, they just talk a lot. I don't understand it. Okay, here is the um, here's the last theory that people have put to me, and like I said, I've just had a lot of people that I think it's just the anxiety or not anxiety. I think it's the impatience or maybe the I think it's just the almost not anger, but there's just a lot of people that have let me know they're not happy with the end of this chase. And I guess it's just going to go on and on like this. And people are just going to keep discussing it. I mean, there are people out there going over their solves. 
by the way, I want to say something. I mean this very nicely. Please do not send me your solves. I've had a few people send me solves, and these solves are like pages long. Uh, and I really would like to read them, and I guess, you know, you want my opinion. My opinion on your solves is probably no better than anybody else's. Well, no, I guarantee it's not any better than anyone else's. So, but I really don't, I don't have the time to read through a two or three page solve. And I just mean that in the nicest way. It's not that I'm not interested. <laughs> well, it is kind of. It is kind of that I'm not interested. I mean that in the nicest way possible, but folks, the treasure chest, regardless of these theories that I have, these conspiracy theories that I have and that other people seem to have, I do believe the chest has been retrieved. I mean, there's no doubt it's been retrieved by the finder. It's been retrieved by Forrest Fenn, or it's... It's back in his, well, no, it's back in the finder's possession. I keep I keep thinking of those photos with Forrest with the chest. I keep thinking Forrest has the chest. No, the finder is supposed to have the chest right now, not Forrest Fenn, right? Because that would be like what all these conspiracy, th maybe that's what's prompting half on a subconscious level. Maybe that image of Forrest with the chest, those images are what's prompting so many people to think that, Forrest Fenn has the chest now, because that's kind of what it all condenses down to the more I think about it. it. A lot of people just think Forrest has the chest that he retrieved it. I mean, this last theory about um, it, the, the location being compromised somehow, of course, the, the finder would have it. But, if, but the biggest thing I hear from people is their number one thing is that it was retrieved by Forrest Fenn, by proxy, by one of his cohorts or you know like i've kind of kidded before shiloh tends to get the blame all the time he's kind of the the go you know the good grandson that kind of does what granddad wants and you know you can go get it after you wash the car go get the treasure sorry shiloh i shouldn't say that i know you're not being used like that yeah probably a little old to be told to go wash the car all right, the final one is one um, I was just talking to someone about this recently, and I've heard it before, but this person, the way they described it, I just thought was really made a lot of sense. And like I said, I've heard it before from a couple of a couple of people, I guess, have told me this. It's the latest one I happen to communicate with someone about. Some people think that Forrest guided someone to the chest. Some people think, you know this thing I've told you about, there are people like the Hearst family, the father and son, and there's people like Barbara Anderson, and there are people out there that would communicate with Fenn while they were searching for the chest. In fact, I know of a number of people who... Forrest Fenn would communicate with uh, through text or email or even phone calls, but pretty much as time went on, it said it, it got down pretty much to emails and texts. And Forrest Fenn has had a tendency to kind of say, you know, they'd say, Forrest, today I was up on this mountain and I was looking down, I saw this creek and I thought I'd go down there and go north. And he'll just, he, it sounds like he would just say, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I would check that out. And to me, he is, he was always like, just giving them confidence and kind of giving them energy. But in fact, he meant it, he did not mean it in the sense that they were on the right track, which some people tend to think that's what he meant, like the Hearst. The Hearst are convinced that every time they would ask Ben about it, and he would confirm that they were kind of, you know, agreeing, I guess agreeing with them that to keep going, they took it to mean he was telling them they were on the right track. He was just saying, yeah, keep on going. Keep on trying. Keep on looking. You're doing great. And they're hearing... <laughs> this is kind of interesting. I hit myself right in the gun. They're hearing... He's telling us we're on the right track. 
And every time we move that he says, yeah, good idea, he is telling us we're on the right track. And then when they don't find it, or he just kind of says, oh, well, too bad, try another way. And they're going, wait a minute, we're supposed to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they get very excited about it. Well, a few people have told me, a couple of people have told me, they literally believe Forrest Fenn picked someone who maybe was close, and he was doing essentially the same thing, except he was guiding them because he wanted the chase to be over. Okay? This was a case where rather than have someone go out and retrieve it, like an associate or a relative go out and retrieve it for him, he decided kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, to use a not too cool expression, I guess. I mean, as an environmentalist, I know I'm being old. That's a little flaky green, green stuff. Um, but tell someone kind of how to get there. Reading in between the lines stuff, if you know what I mean. I mean, someone's out there, they're communicating with Ben, and he's kind of saying, well, did you ever think about this? Well, that's a good idea, but, you know, if you look, this way, do you see that? And could that mean whatever? And they're kind of going, oh, well, you know, I'll look over here. And, oh, you're right. There is kind of that. And he kind of leads them there. And they find it. Now, of course, that would make the whole thing about guiding the per I mean, that would make the whole thing about not knowing the person. I do not know the person who found it, but the poem in my book led them to the precise spot. Fenn later corrected that and said, oh, it looks like I did have email communication with him ending or beginning and ending in 2018. Some people think that's a big deal. Some people think it's very innocent. You know, the finder... Oh, did you know, don't you remember I sent you an email or a couple of emails back in two years ago and you responded and said good luck or something? And he, but some people think no, that there was more to it than that. Now, of course, in the scenario I'm discussing, he, he does know, again, folks, you have to get out of this twinkly-eyed granddad idea, this innocent Guy. You have to think more in terms of Forrest Fenn, the grave robber. It's pretty much, to my mind, been substantiated because of the FBI investigations and stuff. Forrest Fenn has never been convicted of anything. Never convicted of anything. But if you read enough about him, and, and by his own admission, he, he's a maverick. And I think, I don't know, I don't want to say that. I, I just... Could Forrest Fenn kind of guide someone along? If Forrest Fenn had someone emailing him a lot and he was kind of, does he really know the person anyway? I mean, what does no mean? What is no? You know, the old Forrest Fenn word games. Could he have guided someone to the treasure in a very clever way where the person might have even well, I think the finder would almost have to feel like Fenn helped him find it if Fenn gave him any kind of corrections to his thinking that led him there. Again, folks, this is another theory people have postulated to me, and I think it's interesting enough to put out there. This is all because we don't have an ending to this chase. And quite frankly, I don't think we're going to have an ending to this chase for a long time. I hate to be, I mean, if there's a legitimate finder, I guess we're going to, I would just suspect that we'd almost have to find out at some point what has happened from that finder. But maybe it'll be after Forrest Finn passes on. He's 90 now. He could have another 10 years in him. I told the story of a friend of mine that lived to be 97. I would go visit her in the uh, nursing home. And she, uh, she got up to 97. She got up to the point where she told me, I don't really want to live any longer. 
all my all my faculties are gone. I can I can't read. I can barely watch TV. I can't hear anything. I mean, I had to sit there and kind of you know, hey, how's it going? You know, it was one of those things. And she was just like done. So hundred, you know, hundreds of long ways away. So say within the next ten years, Fen passes. That sounds terrible. I shouldn't even say that. Let's just say whenever Fen passes, it's more news comes out. What if the news came out that Forrest Fen ended the hunt on his own? In any in in any of the ways we talked about, whether he retrieved it, whether he guided someone, or what if Forrest Fen inadvertently compromised the search along the way by saying something he shouldn't end up by saying something he shouldn't have, or by someone just finding out through skullduggery, I don't know, going through his desk drawers when he wasn't there. I mean, who knows what's going on in 10 years? Who knows the lengths people would go to to find out what that, where that treasure was? Yeah, what if the maid found out where he, he wrote it down and some maid's reading it? She gives it to her husband and he gives it to someone to tell him. That's kind of stupid. But we don't know. We don't know. And that's why we're all kind of going, what's going on? But you know what, folks? My next video, I've already figured out what it's going to be. It's not going to be about Forrest Fan. I'm very excited to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to be interested to see how people react to it. Um, it's going to be about a subject I think people are going to find very interesting. It's a subject people should kind of know about it. But it's going to introduce a different aspect of it that I don't think people are very, and it's a very kind of famous, well-known thing. And um, I think people are going to be kind of surprised at the angles uh, about it or the other, I'm trying to figure out what to call it, another look at the other side of this particular thing that kind of shows um, some information we didn't know about it that I think will be somewhat eye-opening for people. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, kind of excited about doing it. My first non-forest fen... My first non-forest fen video. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. I need coffee. That's all I got for you folks. These conspiracy theories that are out there that people are kicking around. The male ladies here, I can hear her. So I hope everyone's having a good time. If you're down in the uh, hurricane area, that's a weird one. It's gonna go all over the zigzag, all over the country and create a lot of storms. Wouldn't be at all surprised if it comes here because it's what, coming up through Louisiana, then heading through Arkansas? That's heading straight for the East Coast. Never fails. Okay, folks, I'll see you later. Hopefully, we'll get some information about the end of this hunt or more information about the location. Um, everyone have a great day. Goodbye.